I'm Edward McHenry and I am director and writer of Jack Beats on Whitehall. I wrote the treatment with my brother one Sunday afternoon as a, as a mad idea and it grew from there. But it, that was on the tail end of making uh, a trilogy of short films pretty much very low budget short films that I made with him on digital camera and the same techniques are still being used in Jackboots so not much has changed apart from the whole thing's got bigger. Well this set, this set is one of the most detailed exterior sets. We have bigger ones, for example uh, the one that we're shooting on right now, Hadrian's Wall is a whopper, that's a big one and the detail on that is phenomenal. I'm Rory McHenry. I am co-writer and co-director of Jack Boots and Whitehall. Well, they're pretty basic animatronics. It's, we've got servo motors on both arms, so they can move their arms up and down, and then we've got two on their heads, so they've got left and right movement and up and down movement. And then in post, the VFX people are going to be manipulating the faces, so we're sort of doing the body movements and the kind of body language on, on screen and then expressions will be done afterwards. Yeah, my name's David McHenry. I'm uh, the production designer. I'm responsible for the whole look of the film, which is very rare on something now that is shot within a stage completely we're creating the outside world inside here so we're creating all the exteriors here and we're actually creating all the interiors here so it's it's making this um complete world so the day-to-day -day running is making sure that we've got sets ready for the crew to actually be shooting on so we're working sort of in a two week ahead jumping stage so that's why this set's here ready to be shot in a week's time I'm Carl Richards and I'm the film's producer. Persistence, you, you, you know, you, you have to expect that, that, that it will take a long, long time to, to, to realise your dreams. And like with any industry and anything, you know, the, the longer it takes, you know, the harder you need to, to, to stick in there. But eventually, eventually, as long as you do, which is my other, uh, advice as long as you listen to, to, to people with knowledge and you listen to that and take it on board you, you, you know hopefully one day you, you know it'll be realized it's a cinematic movie we're making something that's gonna look really good on the big screen it's not gonna look any good on on, on, a, on a, a laptop or or on your on your iPhone or anything it it needs the big because we're doing vast landscapes and, and big action sequences and stuff. So the best way to see it is going to be on a big screen. I think for this industry in general, the cinema is still unique. And no matter how big your TV is, it, it's still not, you know, a 50 foot giant silver screen. And, you know, it's, it's a wonderful experience. And, and of course, it, to share with an audience, you, you know, uh, 300 people watching this the joke becomes that much better and you know everything everything is is bigger and better as you'd imagine the cinema